The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. Yeah, we have Tom on from Tampa on the phone. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's bright and early now, huh? Hey, hey, hey good. Hi, Tom. How you guys doing? Nico? Doing great. Good. Hey, um, your newsletter is outstanding, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it is outstanding. And so is the Run Emily. I love that stuff. I'd never be without it. I mean, I've been on it now three, four months, man. I mean, it's just I can't get over how good I feel. Prime Wedge is, uh, you know, people are raving about it. People who are trying it, they know because you can feel it. We would not be without it. Call now. Toll free at one 877 927-6648 internationally at 727-445-1044 now your hosts nico dehan and paige clark welcome to living a primal lifestyle where we explore a return to a more balanced and natural wild world good morning i'm nico dehan and uh, this is where we do it uh, to recover our natural health of course and regain our rights and freedoms and it's a beautiful day in downtown uh, st petersburg it's uh, 57 degrees a little cool but it's going up to 81 today and going to be sunny all day long so it's beautiful down here so come on down folks it's uh, still spring break i believe and in a couple of weeks uh, most of the people will be leaving so uh, perfect time to come down uh, I'd like to remind you a couple things. First of all, Paige is not here today. I got a text from her last night that she said she couldn't make it. So uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'd like to remind you, of course, to uh, pick up our Primal Edge, our One Shot Wonder, over 310 organic cell-ready ingredients, all part of a plan to make you healthy. If you take this sort of thing every morning, you'll see a huge difference in your health, and you'll be assured that you're knowing that you've got all the things you need to stay healthy. And, of course, picking up our Health Signals newsletter, i got a brand new one out. And if you want to go to services in on the uh, TFNN site, you have the Primal Edge here and the Health Signals newsletter, which I have a brand new one out that uh, came out yesterday. Starts off with marijuana may be the secret to older people uh, working longer. This is an uh, interesting article, uh, really debunking the last 50 years of marijuana being if you smoke it you're going to be lazy you're going to be no good you're uh, a detriment to society and here we are finding out that marijuana indeed has many properties uh, for health making you feel good and uh, structured for the human being it seems like everything that uh, we're finding out about marijuana is that uh, it's good for us in many ways some downsides to it too you get paranoid things like that but uh, as they're going through these different kind of strains and labeling it uh, we're going to be able to find out what strains are good for you what strains are affect you differently and uh, through that uh, we're getting a lot of experience i would say probably from the 1960s on we have a load of people who really know what uh, they're doing with marijuana. So check out all the other things uh, in the uh, Health Signals newsletter. It's only $10 a month. You get two issues a month following the show, and this way you can dig in and find out for yourself what's really going on in the world. So I'd like to start off this morning with an article here that uh, is about children. And, of course, I grew up in the wild. Uh, I, uh, when we moved from Holland to, uh, to northern Canada, I was raised up in Sudbury, Ontario, and uh, surrounded by woods all around. And it was a fantastic childhood, and I really have great memories from that. And I think a lot of it has to do with just being part of the wild. The more green space kids grow up in and are surrounded by, the fewer psychological problems they have later in life, a new 30-year study finds. So growing up in a home surrounded by trees and vegetation rather than city buildings lowers children's risk of psychiatric disorders in adolescence and in adulthood, a new study finds. And so for this study, the Danish researchers followed 900,000 children from 1985 to 2013. 13. I assume they don't mean they really followed them, but they uh, kept track of them. Uh, children who grew up with the lowest levels of residential green space had up to 55% higher risk of developing a uh, psychotic disorder, they said psychiatric disorder, they say. The researchers used satellite images to determine how much green space surrounded the childhood residents of the participants. The more vegetation they viewed from around their home, the better their mental health outcomes. Uh, 
being located within a reasonable drive for wilderness areas, public parks, and urban green spaces did not seem to make a difference, only uh, what they could see and touch in their own front or backyards. Uh, the results were also dosage dependent. The more one's childhood spent closer to the greenery, the lower the risk of mental problems in the future. Smaller studies have found that lack of green space increases the risk of mood disorders and schizophrenia and can even affect cognitive development. But this is just the first uh, to find green space, uh, this is I guess the first study to find the green space as a factor similar in strength to other known influence on mental health such as the history of mental health disorders in your family or socioeconomic status, the, order, uh, the authors say. So uh, depending on where you are in the, uh, the realm of status uh, economically, uh, your health goes up if you have a better status. If we were talking about a new medicine that has this kind of effect, the buzz would be huge. Kelly Lambert, who's a neuroscientist at the University of Richmond, told NPR, but these results suggest that being able to go for a walk in a park as a kid is just as impactful. What's still unclear is exactly what about living in close proximity to nature it has the protective effect. Lambert uh, tells NPR the explanation may, might run deep. We evolved in forests, and something about being exposed to our native habitat might have powerful physiological and psychological effects. More green space might also encourage uh, more outdoor play more exercise, more social interaction, or a decrease of air and uh, noise pollution. Uh, even uh, exposure to a wider diversity of microbes could play a role. There's a lot of potential mechanisms going on here, but generally I think the study is tremendously important. It suggests that something as simple as better city planning could pr have a profound effect on mental health and well-being of us all. Yeah, this is what I found. Uh, my memories of my childhood are so vivid and so nice and make me feel so good. And that's because I was in the wild a lot of the times. Uh, I remember the first uh, house that we had, I think we rented it, but it was on Jane Street in Sudbury, Ontario. And I went to Ch St. Charles School, which was about th maybe three or four miles. But I found a shortcut just over the hill and through the woods uh, down by the YMCA. And uh, that was a unique thing because a lot often I came home from the YMCA late and it would be dark in the wintertime. And going through that little spot was also scary because it was uh, maybe about a mile of deep, dense woods. Yeah, there was a path. but. Of course, your imagination goes crazy in those woods, and I found myself a lot of times just tearing through there, just running like crazy because I heard or saw something or my imagination was that. But that also is a great memory, you know, just being able to do that and not stopping myself, being too scared, you know, saying, oh, I'll go around, it's a lot easier. No, I, I went through there and I, I did those things. And there was a lot of other things. When we moved to closer to school, I took the longer way then. Then I realized that the woods presented much more to me. I didn't think about health at that time. I just thought about what I could discover. I could see the wild turkey maybe. Uh, in the wintertime, I could ski to uh, the school because behind the school it was a nice big hill. So there's a lot of great memories I have, but I do really have that fondness for getting in the bush. And that's what this uh, was talking about. So stick around, folks. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Uh, reminder to please pick up our Primal Edge, our One Shot Wonder, right now. I'll be right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionics, oil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. C call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'd like to remind you, first of all, pick up the Health Signals newsletter right here, and I've got a new one out right now, and of course we started with the uh, marijuana thing, but we got a lot of stuff in here uh, talking about uh, policies and compress uh, compresses, uh, a lot of tips in here on how to uh, do kind of your own health care at home the way we used to do it. Now, I like on a new article here, you know, one of the things that... Uh, I take pride in is uh, our home. We're always doing stuff to fix it up and, uh, first of all, make us feel good, make us comfortable, make us safe. Uh, we put a lot of uh, money into the house in the last 23 years we've been in there, 22 years, I think, now. Uh, and so we have a metal roof. We have our uh, uh, generator. So when the power goes out, which happens often here in Florida, you know, we still have electricity. Uh, we have... Uh, different types of gas coming into our house. We're trying to get natural gas. We have propane. So we're always trying to upgrade our house to make it good. And there's an article here that I ran across, a Swedish couple, they build a greenhouse around their house to stay warm and grow food all year round. What an idea. Here's a picture of it right here. A couple more pictures. So greenhouse keeps the house in the 60s, even when it's freezing outside, allows the family to grow Mediterranean fruit in Sweden. Uh, Marie and Charles literally live in a, bu a bubble I isolated from the cold and the harshness of the elements while taking the best of nature, ha what nature has to offer. Their house is built inside a greenhouse, providing them free heat, free food for the winter. In Stockholm, Sweden, where the winter lasts nine months out of the year, that's a huge asset. And the average temperature in Stockholm in January is below freezing, but step into Mar Marie and Charles's bubbled-in backyard and you'll be much warmer. There's even a little video here. Can you hear anything? But at least we can see some of it. A normal family in uh, uh, Stockholm switches on their heater on sometimes in mid-September and doesn't turn it off again until mid-May or so. Marie says the greenhouse allows them to reduce the number of months they need to heat their home from nine to six months per year, it reduces the amount of energy they are doing so. Any supplemental heat they need that is not provided by the sun is provided by a wood-burning stove. Of course, they stick an ad in here and get that up. 
He says, then during the warmest parts of the summer, her glass roof automatically opens up uh, when it hits a certain temperature to let the heat out so it doesn't get too hot. Pretty cool. Uh, it can get warm in a few days in the summer, but that's really not a problem because we open the windows and we enjoy the heat and we really like the sun. The uh, family's favorite hangout is a rooftop deck. And I think they have a picture of that here. Uh, they built a glass ceiling so they not, no longer needed a roof, uh, so they removed it uh, to create larger space for sunbathing, reading, gardening, or playing with their son on swings and bikes. So they have a bike up there. Nice. Pretty cool. The footprint of the greenhouse is nearly double that of the home, leaving plenty of room for a wraparound garden. And since they've created a Mediterranean climate for themselves, the couple grow, produ uh, grow pro produce that typically isn't grown in Sweden, like figs and grapes and tomatoes, uh, cucumbers and herbs. Outside the glass, they have cherry and apple trees. Human beings always did this, didn't we? Uh, we're not really satisfied with what's there. We want to uh, always upgrade to uh, new fruit when our explorers came from the New World and brought back things to uh, Europe. Remember, they brought back potatoes and tomatoes, all these, uh, these uh, vine type of things that we didn't have uh, in the old world. Uh, watermelons, potatoes, things like that. Uh, she says, growing things is not easy in the video. We need all the extra energy we can get. On top of the free heat, the couple has also installed a rainwater collection system for free water and a composting toilet system that provides free fertilizer for the plants. Also, the plants that thrive in their home return the favor by cleaning the air and providing more oxygen. It starts with a urine-separating toilet that uses centrifuges, uh, cistrines, ponds, and garden beds to filter wastewater and compost. They compost the remains. For the future, the couple is working on designing a system to capture excess solar energy during the summer and store it for the winter. This is really cool. Of course, uh, we have installed in our home the... Um, the solar panels, and uh, for the last couple of months, our bill has been around 10 or $11. And this is pretty much what we expect going forward. And as the bills increase with the summer, we're getting increased relief from the sun. And uh, we had a huge tree that was kind of uh, marring part of the exposure, and we had that removed uh, a few months ago. And that has really cranked it up. So we're running pretty much on the top uh, tier of uh, getting uh, the best for our solar so it's a great system and so far you know uh, and we also store some with the power company but the power company really takes most of that revenue but they do give us back a certain percentage it's a small percentage but you know the companies have to make money I guess that's the way we do it uh, so Charles says um, it's a it's all a philosophy of life to use nature, sun, and water to live in another world. If you want to be self-sufficient and not depend on bigger systems, you uh, have to do this and live anywhere you like. Marie says. Charles and Marie weren't the first ones to build a house inside a greenhouse. Their idea was inspired by a Swedish architect uh, who built the first uh, house uh, in uh, Stockholm in 1974. Some more pictures of it. So this is a nice concept, and, uh, you know, why not? I, you know, now thinking that I built this huge back porch on our place, which is about 1,200 square feet, and now I'm not sure the zoning people would allow me to do something like this, but it's intriguing if you're going to build a house from scratch. This is certainly something that uh, in Florida would be fantastic. It would help cool and heat the place. And, of course, you have the ability to garden which is really cool too. Now there was another article I found here that was kind of related to this and that is, let me see here where I put it. Uh, where did I throw that thing? Anyway, it was a, um, oh here it is, right here, Florida. Florida lifts a ban on uh, front yard vegetable gardens. So in Florida, many cities have these laws, and I think Bel Air is one of them where I live, and uh, you can't grow vegetables in the front, but Florida has uh, overturned that, so uh, none of the cities can do this anymore. And I, I would say this is probably a really good thing. You should read from the article here. 
Let's see where I find it. Yeah. So uh, it didn't matter how nearly they tended their tomatoes, beet scallions, the kale, and spinach, and various uh, non-edible ornamented plants. Uh, they were in view of public, and the town said, no, no, you can't do that. It's unsightly. Uh, so they went to court, apparently, and they won. So uh, there is a couple that uh, did this, and uh, now we can uh, do this in Florida. The world is changing when it comes to food, says the Senator Bob Bradley who sponsored the bill. There's a big interest when it comes to locally uh, sourced food or organic products. Uh, it is our role, our duty, to review decisions that are made in the courts and upheld the local government actions that violate property rights. So this is a good thing, I see, and uh, we can start growing things in uh, not only our backyards now, but if you want to, you can grow it in your front yard in Florida. So that's pretty cool. Stick around, folks. You've got a lot more. I'll be right back. like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the Taz Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at Taz has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the Taz Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the Taz order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the Taz Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And welcome back to the show. Uh, I think if you go to uh, the, a normal mall or you go to the airport and you take a look at the people, then you can kind of make a conclusion that probably here in America, a lot of people are not very healthy. A lot of people are overweight. And we do have a problem in this. And I found this article that was pretty interesting. Uh, refugee women have a healthier pregnancy than U.S. women. 
And uh, African refugee women experience healthier, healthier pregnancies than women born in the United States, despite receiving less prenatal care, found a recent use, use, uh, university study at uh, Buffalo. Uh, compared to U.S. born black and white women, uh, African refugees have fewer pre-pregnancy health risks, fewer preterm births, and higher rates of vaginal deliveries. Surprisingly, the refugee women were more likely to delay beginning prenatal care until the second trimester. Uh, this disparity, says researcher, may be uh, tied to various unhealthy behaviors and practices pres present within the U.S. culture. For African refugee women, uh, acculturation may, be neg uh, may negatively impact their health. So if they uh, start to become more Americanized, let's say, start eating American food and going to American doctor, they're going to be more unhealthy. It is often thought that refugees immigrating to the United States from war-torn nations will experience a better quality of life once they get here. A uh, professor at the, the UB School of Nursing, uh, and the, he was the lead uh, uh, investigator on the study. It was published in the Journal of Women's Health. However, some of the elements of U.S. life, such as eating processed food and increased reliance on cars or buses for transportation, extended inclement weather, and more individualistic society, as well as drugs, alcohol use, may in fact contribute to African refugee women having poor reproductive health outcomes in the future. Reproductive health disparities between U.S. born white and black women are well documented, says the researcher. However, fewer comparisons have been made between refugee African women and U.S. born uh, women. African rep re refugee women are susceptible to no numerous health disparities as a result factors such as socioeconomic status, gender, and ethnicity, lower levels of education and language. Another risk factor specific to their population is the high prevalence of past trauma experience, you know, like coming from a war-torn place. These risks led researchers to believe that the African refugee women would have poorer reproductive health outcomes than the women born in the U.S. The unexpected results reveal that the healthy immigrant effect, a phenomenon where immigrants experience healthier outcomes than the native population, extends to their reproductive lives. Uh, the researchers examined electronic birth certificate data from hospitals within Erie County, an area of western New York, that uh, resettles a large number of refugees. The data contained clinical, psychological, socioeconomic, de and uh, demographic information, as well as the mother's uh, country of birth. Uh, women that were born in the Congo and all these African uh, countries like Somalia were considered refugee status for the study due to the large refugee population in western New York resettled from these areas. The data continued, uh, contained information of uh, nearly 60,000 white and almost 17,500 black and close to 8,000 African women who gave birth between 2007 and 16. And the information was limited to mothers who used Medicare to cover medical expenses to control the socioeconomic status. Researchers discovered that the uh, African refugee women had significantly less ma ma maternal uh, medical risk factors such as pre-pregnancy, hypertensions, or diabetes compared to the U.S. born women. Refugee women experienced more vaginal birth and were less likely to undergo uh, cesarean sections to be medically induced into labor. Less than 1% of the refugee women smoked or took illegal drugs during a pregnancy compared to the white women who were 12% smoked and 4.5% taking the illegal drugs. And black women, 15% smoked and 18% took illicit drugs or illegal drugs. Refugee women also had a fewer preterm births, 6% compared to white women, 9%, and black women, 13%. So there's a real, real difference between the black refugee women and the black uh, American women. They do much, much worse. And my thinking is that the African women are much closer to when they were hunter and gatherers than the white man from Europe, who is me. 
Uh, we uh, were domesticated many, many uh, thousands of years beforehand, where the African women just a few hundred years ago were probably kidnapped from Africa, brought here as slaves, at least their ancestors were, and they've been living here. Uh, and their health is much, much worse, and I think that's probably one of the reasons. Uh, Let's see, the favorable health outcomes for African refugee women also occur in spite of the group experiencing higher rates of mechanoming staining, which, what does that mean? Let me look up this word here for a second. Oops, can't get that. Some words I just don't know, all the green uh, contents of the intestines. Okay, so they have something in their intestines that uh, is uh, really favorable for them. And uh, w what we're finding, too, is uh, stool implants from indigenous people are making uh, uh, civilized people much healthier. So this has to do with digestion, folks. This has to do with the same thing, kind of thing that we were talking about with the children uh, living near a green area. This is where we're getting our nutrition from, living in the green area, not consuming these plants, but living in the plants getting the air from the plants. Remember, plants give us oxygen. We give them the carbon dioxide. It's a beautiful exchange. And I really think that the touching and the feeling of the earth and of the, the plants and the animals here on earth is what gives us our health. And this is kind of saying this. And this is all from the University of Buffalo in New York, folks. Uh, the development of culturally targeted reproduction and health education is urgently needed, she says. Healthcare professionals also need to understand that refugee women are likely to have histories of trauma and therefore need care delivering from trauma-informed perspective. Yeah, of course, they're coming from war-torn places. But it's amazing that they've still got that indigenous health. They still, even if they're not indigenous today, which they aren't probably if they're coming from a war-torn nation because it's hard to live like that. But the, these are really interesting things when we start finding more and more things about living in green areas, touching the earth, being in the woods, all the things that we were grow, growing up on, and seems like uh, the thing that man has done right from the get-go is try to become more domesticated and thinking this is a good idea. We're very, very proud that we're civilized. And civilized means living like this modern way, not living the old way. And I think there's a happy medium there. I think we can live the old way in a new way. I think we can uh, help the wild return to the wild. Of course, this is what the, the, the reason for the program is. We want to return to all those wild areas and have our wild earth take care of itself. And we're going to be the bystanders that reap the benefits from this. And this is just the way I see it. Stick around, folks. i got a little bit more. Uh, please pick up our Primal Edge. And, of course, please pick up the Health Signals newsletter. Brand new one out today. And uh, it's all there to help you figure this whole thing out. I'll be right back, folks. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionics, oil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. A new article here about inflammation. And, uh, you know, one of the things that we know is that just about every disease and every ailment that we have has to do with inflation. If we become inflamed, your body is trying to fight something. That's what the inflammation is telling you. If you experience signs that your body has inflammation, it may crop up in a number of different ways. It'd be a sign of different health concerns. Usually inflammation is associated with joint health. Since arthritis is one of the top pain and uh, causes of pain and swelling. But inflammation can come about to do other health issues and it can show up in various forms and there can be various signs and symptoms beyond just having uh, some of those uh, swollen joints. Chronic uh, inflammation can be uh, tied to things like arthritis, but also can get triggered by a variety of things like genetic pre pre uh, dis disposition, diet, sleep, lack of sleep, uh, and of course your lifestyle. Your, uh, you can get in, uh, inflammation in your gut, for example, due to food allergies. So here's a, some signs that show you that you have too much inflammation in your body. And the first one is fatigue. Inflammation can be caused by too little sleep as well as too much sleep. So if you're falling short of or exceeding the recommended, recommended seven to nine hours sleep per night, there's a good chance you have inflammation in your body. Fatigue can also be a side effect of other inf uh, inflammatory issues. So if you're feeling exhausted despite of getting the correct amount of sleep, let your doctor know. They can figure it out why you're tired and begin to uh, correct the underlying issues. Perhaps they can. The next one is chronic pain. So if you always have chronic pain, pain and it keeps coming back, uh, this is really a sign and it's probably a big indicator that you have inflammation. If you are not in pain but have pain at the end uh, of your range of motion, like rotating your shoulder back or touching your toes, and that's associated with uh, inflammation, pain like this could be a sign that you have some type of arthritis. Uh, which is a main contributor, a major contributor to inflammation in the body, of pain. Another thing is gut issues. Uh, we all have an occasional bout of diarrhea or a moment of gassiness. Ongoing symptoms like these give you a tip that uh, inflammation is in your body. Inflammation in the gut can cause bloating, kind of loose bowels, urgency, and cramping. 
all of these are signs maybe of a food allergy or something like the IBS, uh, irritable bowel syndromes, Crohn's disease, or uh, anything else uh, that might be inflaming your gut. Another thing you have uh, is the lymph nodes. Now, lymph nodes in your neck, underneath your arms, between your legs. Uh, lymph nodes, uh, which are primarily located in the neck, uh, under your arms and in your groin, can swell up uh, and uh, whenever something's amiss. Uh, lymph nodes are the hubs of the immune system. We often notice in large nodes in our neck when you have a cold or a throat. This is a good thing. It means our immune system is working. It's addressing this current situation. If your lymph nodes are always inflamed, however, or they hurt, definitely let your doctor know. So this can be a sign of something chronic. Another thing is swollen nasal passages. Uh, you might think seasonal allergies are to blame for your stuffy nose. It could be a result of uh, inflammation, however. The body can react in a variety of ways when inflammation is present. It's different for everyone, but common ways your body's trying to tell you something uh, is wrong is inflamed n uh, nasal cavities, which seem like a stuffy nose from seasonal allergies, watery eyes from the pressure of the nasal cavity behind the uh, eyes among other things. Inflammation is your body ways of fighting something foreign and protecting itself and can occur for a variety of reasons. We're all probably most familiar with the type of inflammation that results from a bump or a bruise. But inflammation also occurs when we're exposed to chemicals, pesticides, or foods that may, uh, we may be sensitive to. Lack of sleep and stress also can lead to inflammation, which we said before. Another thing his skin breaks out and breaks out in eggness, uh, eczema. Uh, this is uh, something that's showing on the outside of your body. Uh, it's showing you that you're not feeling right on the inside, and this is f most likely from inflammation. Many people with internal inflammation suffer from uh, skin outbreaks, uh, acne, dry skin, eczema, other different things. This is often the body's way of telling something's off internally, so don't brush it off. Let your doctor know and uh, it could be related to diet. That's normally what I think of when uh, I have a pimple pop-up or something like that. Uh-oh, I ate something. I shouldn't eat that piece of chocolate with whatever was in it. Another thing is brain fog. If you wake up and you're just not quite there, in addition to the physical symptoms mentioned above, brain fog and the ability to think clearly can, ca can also occur and can range from subtle when you're not quite right, and you can't put your finger on it too severe when you completely forget what the heck is going on and you're distracted and you really can't finish sentences and things like that. Usually once inflammation is treated, symptoms like brain fog will, try, will start to lift. One great place to start is by lowering inflammation levels uh, with lifestyle changes. Food is the easiest and least expensive way to control inflammation. Yeah, 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 I hear you there. Food is the number one always, I think, of course, unless it's trauma. And number eight is heartburn. So this again, diet. Uh, many people with chronic inflammation complain of uh, digestive troubles. Constipation, diarrhea, heartburn, uh, they're a result of uh, inflammation. It's up to your doctor to figure out what's going on. Now it's up to you to figure it out, folks, and not the doctor so much. You need to figure this out. Change what you're eating. Uh, do the elimination diet, many, many ways of uh, doing this. Last one on this list is headaches and migraines. These are also a sign. If you have a headache that keeps coming back, it could be a sign of inflammation. With uh, migraine and headache sufferers, there, this can be affected what is called uh, neurogenic inflammation. Uh, a neurological exam uh, should be performed on patients who have a recent onset of new headaches or migraines or changes in previous headaches or migraines to roll out any underlying disease. But again, many times inflammation can be treated in a simple way. Stress, tobacco smoking, and alcohol can stimulate that inflammatory response and cause migraines and headaches. Dr. Blackburn says, he says, relaxation techniques and exercise are wonderful to decrease chronic stress, which can in turn help decrease the clon uh, chronic inflammation. So if you notice anything like this happening to you, then you need to take some action on it. And uh, we've got some real interesting things that you can do for that. Let me see if I can dig that up. So, 10 remedies for inflammation that actually work. 
So there's a lot of simple things that you can do uh, uh, without having to go to the doctor. And uh, you shouldn't be discounting some of the old world remedies that we often talk about on here. But, uh, you know, it's your body's and natural immune system uh, response to an infection or an injury. That's what uh, inflation does. And when the inflammatory response sticks around for too long, it becomes chronic, and this can become uh, dangerous, can lead to painful, if not life-threatening uh, conditions. Uh, inflammation has been linked to chronic diseases and health issues, even like cancer and asthma, autoimmune systems, irritable bowel syndrome, uh, arthritis, osteoporosis, premature aging. Lots of things can cause this. So when I get back and go over a few things that you probably have in your house and you can use to get rid of that inflammation. So I'll be right back. Stick around for me. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! TFNN has put together the best lineup of live content for traders by traders every market day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected minds in the business. TFNN broadcasts five days a week, live from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We have live programming every market day during market hours. Every morning, Larry Pesavento kicks off the trading day live at 9 a.m. and breaks down the opening bell with Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom and Tommy O'Brien host the TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour, followed at 11 a.m. by the team at TD Ameritrade and Thinkorswim with Fast Market. Basil Chapman hosts the Tiger Technicians Hour at noon, Steve Rhodes at 1 p.m. with the Trader's Edge, Dave White at 2 p.m. with the Power Trading Hour, and Tom O'Brien anchors the daily lineup from 3 till 5 as host of the Tom O'Brien Show. Tune in to TFNN's Tiger TV on your computer or mobile device, and you can always find us streaming on YouTube. TFNN.com, educating investors. Welcome back. So let's go through this pretty fast. I don't have too much time here, but the first one is drinking turmeric tea. But you can take turmeric in many different ways, and turmeric eases pain uh, even better than ibuprofen, I think, or aspirin. The second one is eating pineapple, and a pineapple has an uh, enzyme in it that really is great for digestion. It's uh, bromelain, and uh, that helps you digest proteins. So that's excellent. Another one is getting more sleep. Well, naturally, we all suffer with that, but uh, we're getting better at it, I think. I'm uh, sleeping much better uh, these days, too. Another thing is following an anti-inflammatory uh, diet. Of course, you've heard of that before. Uh, this isn't the latest trend to lose weight. Anti-inflammatory diets focus on foods that fight inflammation and eliminate foods that reduce it. 
So avoiding refined carbs, avoiding so sodas, uh, processed meat, and things like margarine, uh, all these fake foods, they're really bad for you. Practicing stress relief, of course, uh, doing a little yoga, stretching, anything, uh, in a quiet time, reading a book is good. Exercising, another form of anti-inflammatory uh, activity. Uh, as little as 20 minutes a day, even I would say 10 minutes a day is good enough just to do it, do it nice and easy, and do it uh, uh, in a safe manner. Next is uh, the sun. Hmm. We, we're talking uh, all day today about uh, being in the wild and getting surrounded by nature and being in the sun. Uh, of course, we have to be a little careful today. The sun is a little hotter than it has been. Cutting back on medication, uh, I would say get rid of most of your medications. Be careful. Talk to your doctor. Find a doctor that's a paleo-style or ketone-style diet doctor and uh, see what you can do about getting rid of some of your medications. Of course, clean water is uh, another thing. Uh, you have to find clean water. and You have to use a filter or distilled water or something. And the last thing on this list is eating more fats. Who would have thought, you know, for 50 years we've been saying cut out the fat, cutting out the fat, and now we realize that we're cutting out something that was really, really good for us. So a lot of these foods, I would say this food in the center here, not too good, and the beans, not too good, and some of this fruit might be okay, but this is what I'm focusing on here is the salmon and the shrimp and maybe some ground, uh, some good beef of some kind. Hey, thanks for sticking around, folks. Uh, sorry Paige wasn't with us today, but uh, I'm sure she'll be back soon. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.